one of the things I want to just get to you guys that I think is extremely important, um, I just demonstrated it on the leg extension, is when you're reaching failure, um, this is something I try to really convey to my athletes, I want to convey to all you guys that are part of the site, don't change your rep form when the set starts to get hard, okay? Your tempo should be the exact same, all right? So granted, on that machine, I could have started like speeding up my rep speed and probably gotten like five more reps, but that those are the reps that count the most okay so make them as hard as you possibly can don't start throwing your hip into it don't start throwing your your upper body momentum into it leverages into it just stick true to your form all the way through all right now going on to hacks um, this is something where I kind of have to lay down my pride I used to be a huge hugely against using one of these bands to top load this okay um, that being said I want again I want to have effective workouts and at this point, it takes a little bit of tension off my knees and my hips at the bottom, and it makes it so I can perform the movement. With, within these movements, hack squat, leg press, V squat, the thing that I've noticed the most is when I'm getting to the point of true failure, where your body can start to compensate and compromise, that's when I hurt myself, okay? So that's what I have to try to avoid. And within that, I still want to be as effective as possible. So I'm doing things like not locking out the reps, keeping the tension on my legs throughout, pausing at the bottom um, and even with utilizing a band I'm trying to not explode against the band tension to make it easier I'm trying to contract hard throughout the movement so yes this is taking a little bit of load off at the bottom okay I'm not gonna deny that um, but again I'm able to have effective workouts with this band if I don't have this band right now I tend to injure myself more so I'm gonna keep the band lay my pride at the door and, and get effective workouts in let you guys kind of know the progression the past few weeks so three weeks ago I came in here and I hit this for um, three plates aside for 12 and I think I had to do my first rest at rep 8 where I locked it out um, last week I did four plates aside for 10 and again at 8 I locked it out and then I got two more and then today I got four plates aside but I got it for 12 and I didn't have to lock it out until 10 okay so I'm still very much about progression within movements, but also just keeping it effective and safe for me. So that's where we're at for now. I'm gonna do one more set here at four plates. And then I'm gonna do a back off set with a little bit of a um, three point stop on the concentric phase, so a three phase concentric movement. Um, and I'll explain that to you guys as well, all right? <clears throat> This next
next movement that I'm gonna do, it's just a variation. It's just a way to, again, provide a lot of time under tension. Emphasize contraction within the range of motion. So I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom. I'm gonna pause at the bottom. I'm gonna come right out of the hole and pause. And then I'm gonna come up again another few inches and pause. And then I'm gonna finish the rep, okay? So let's pause at the bottom, come right out, pause. Come up again, pause, finish the rep, all right? So we're gonna do a superset now, um, just to get more blood volume. Again, another another way to, if you're not chasing volume, but you wanna get a high amount of work, another way you can do it is just shorten your rest periods, okay? Because if you shorten your rest periods, your load can only be dependent on how long you're resting sometimes. I mean, if you were to take three minutes rest versus a minute rest, you're gonna be able to handle a lot more load at three minutes, all right? So, but that it, it kind of equates out because if you're doing, say three sets over 12 minutes, or you could do five sets over 12 minutes, the total volume, the total weight might be the same in terms of load, okay? So we're gonna superset V squat and then go back to the single leg leg extension and roll from there, all right? So just follow along. Uh, again, even with this, I'm trying to keep a constant tension, so not fully locking out if I can. Fatigue's really starting to set in, so I'm gonna do the best that I can.